Merry Christmas in advance. You're welcome to this edition of The Eagle. This program comes directly from the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and it's reaching you on the network service of the NTA. On The Eagle, we highlight economic and financial crimes and proffer solutions to them. Today, we beam our searchlight on protecting your money this season. Stay tuned. My name is Martha Eche. Glad to be here. My people, you see, and time don't come, what we will stop to grumble. Make we talk about this matter where they table. Before this country go fumble, come tumble. Time don't come, what we will hold ourselves accountable and responsible. See as corruption make man picky, they miserable. See as the hunger, they unbearable. Electricity, no, they stable. Our roads, no, they reliable. Education, no, they affordable. Even elections, myself, you know, they credible. Who we go hold responsible? But when I know say eh, a great Nigeria they possible. This can worm called corruption. Is they curable? Me and you, we they able, we they capable, and together we will create an economy that is sustainable. That is why eh, I they beg all of you now, make you support the EFCC so that we will kick this namanyamati where they call corruption come up for this country. I beg, make you support EFCC. This message is from the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. EFCC. It's the Eagle, your anti-corruption program on TV. The rate at which fraudsters are operating now is alarming. They are desperate. They want to make it big and immediately. In fact, if it's possible to make it big from one hit, they would love it. So they can do anything, anything at all, to get your money from you by hook or by crook. It could be through the internet, which of course is the in thing now. They may come to you personally or maybe through someone you already know. Now, the desire of fraudsters to pull you into their net of victims becomes even stronger during celebration times like we are in already. Christmas is around the corner everywhere and everybody is busy spending in crises as people are entertaining and purchasing gifts. However, as spending increases, so does the risk of fraud. So if you're not careful, I mean, that money you depend on for Christmas and maybe after the celebration for food, school fees and all that will go straight into the hands of one sharp guy, someone who thinks he's sharper than you are. So what can you do to protect your money in times like this? Aisha Mohammed is in the chat room with our guest on the program, Ahmed Saad Abubakar. He's the head Abuja Zonal Office of the EFCC. Let's join them in their conversation. Thanks for joining us on the interview segment of The Eagle. In the chat room today is Ahmed Saad Abubakar FSI. He is the Zonal Head EFCC Abuja. Welcome to the chat room, sir. Thank you very much. Now that Christmas is around the corner, what level of fraudulent activities do we see around? Thank you very much for being a guest of this uh, channel today. Uh, actually, um, normally when um, there's an event, the crimes goes with the event. Uh, for example, now that we are going to be at the end of the year, there are a lot of activities that we see now. For example, sh people do shopping online. Uh, the fraudsters actually exploit that opportunity as well. People want to buy things, uh, even air ticket, buying uh, stuff online from Jumia, from any other source, and trying to sell things for you that you cannot believe the price. So people want discount. During look, or when, when you're looking for this kind of discount, you will definitely be, uh, be scammed. So most of the things that we are looking at today is shopping online. Okay. What types of fraudulent activities do you think fraudsters perpetrate against unsuspecting victims? Mostly they offer you job opportunities uh, and then from there, they scam you without, there's no job, but they actually tell you that you can pay for some money and get job. 
and then you pay monies and there's no job. And secondly, we see online scam, uh, romance scam, Facebook hacking, and then they hack your friend's uh, Facebook account and contact you and request for funds. So these are the things that happen. Uh, so well, social media, absolutely, that is the whole game in the, uh, in the system now. They try to use your social, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, uh, WhatsApp groups, all these places are places that they have versed victims. Do people fall for fraudsters and their tricks? Mostly is greed. Because when they offer you uh, a Fonzie scheme, money doublers, they'll tell you that you invest in the next 24 hours you're getting this kind of amount of money, which you know that is impossible. So mostly is greed. And after greed, you um, uh, lack of awareness. And uh, these are the kind of things that actually make the make them uh, people to become victims how do people identify fraudsters when they come in contact with them either online or physically as most people do the online shopping how do we know they are fraudsters many things for example when you when the the uh, a price of uh, for example let's say an iphone which is from two hundred thousand, and somebody is offering for you at a hundred thousand definitely you know that that is not going to be possible. And secondly, people that contact you, that they are not part of your contact list, and they are trying to sell a service to you, which absolutely uh, is not going to be possible. Uh, those are the red flags that uh, we, we normally see you, uh, people can identify. And um, with, with that red flags, people that you don't know contact you for, selling, for, for giving you a service or selling a product to you you definitely know that that is a red flag. People that uh, give you a price 50% discount, it's not possible. People that say that they are going to double your money within 24 hours, it's not possible. How can Nigerians protect their hard earned money during this festive period? Most of the websites that um, offer services, uh, when you look at the bottom of the website or at the top, you will see a padlock showing the security of that site. And if you do not see the HTTPS, you are absolutely probably visiting a, a fake website or somebody's uh, website. And then you do not also give your financial um, transaction record. For example, your, your debit card, putting it online and putting the PIN and the rest. There are a lot of things. I, you better be safe. Pay on delivery. How can the EFCC help fight fraudulent activities? Lightman. Enlightenment, 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 enlightenment. And I think this is one of the programs that we are driving. The last words before you leave the chat room. Yes. Uh, one of the things I would like to say is, um, is about the whole social media stuff. We are looking at the, it's a, it's a new beginning. And with the, with the COVID in, um, around, everybody migrated to this environment. Everybody, every business processes. Every marketing thing, everybody is on that environment. So criminals also migrate to the same environment that we are going there. So uh, we have to be very careful. We have to, if somebody hacked somebody's account and contacted you and asked you for, uh, look, I'm looking for assistance, please verify. You have the person phone number, call him, then just send the money that, yes, it's this guy, is, I really trust him. I rely on him, and he's not going to tell me that he needed 100,000. He's above 100,000. Maybe he's stuck somewhere. It could not be. Call him. They said trust, but verify. So please always call and verify. And always report to law enforcement. For financial crimes, we are here. EFCC, you can report. We have our channels of reporting, which is always on the website and the rest. Any other message to all of us during the festive period? Uh, for example, you have to be safe. Um, and uh, be happy. Thank you so much for coming to the chat room. We really appreciate having you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Well, we've been chatting with Ahmad Saad Abubakar FSI, who is the Zonal Head EFCC Abuja. Thank you for staying tuned with us. Over to you, Martha. <laughs>
And today our talk is about protecting your money this season. You can protect your money from fraudsters like fake online markets, donation scams, travel scams, information theft, identity theft, and so on. Now it's Christmas time and no matter what you're going through, there is always a reason to celebrate this season. So let's have a feel of the season right here, right now. Society where everything works. Durable road networks, stable electricity supply, portable water, well equipped and functional healthcare facilities, quality education for all, affordable housing schemes, social security benefits, job creation, and a lot more that makes life comfortable to live. That is an ideal society. We can only achieve these if we all play our part. Say no to corruption to enjoy these benefits. Kill corruption to save Nigeria. This message is from the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Now, as you celebrate, be careful so you don't end up crying. Be sure not to fall into the hands of fraudsters. Be vigilant. Easier to say, right? So, how can you be careful? The head, media and publicity of the EFCC and the commission spokesperson, Wilson Wujarin, has this to say. The year 2020 is a unique year for all of us. It has come with its peculiar challenges and uh, 
for every Nigerian, I think we have cause to celebrate that we have uh, been able to go through all the turbulence of the year. As we prepare to mark the end of the year through Christmas and New Year celebrations, it is also important that we should not drop our guard completely. For citizens, my message to them is that while they celebrate, they should be vigilant, especially those who have bank accounts. Don't toy with your personal banking information. If you need to do any transaction, be circumspect. Circumspection is the key word here. Be careful before you do any transaction, especially transactions that are done online that you don't have control over. Because any mistake that you make during this period could be costly for you. So before you do any transaction, be sure that you are dealing with the right people, especially online transactions. Your banking information, you need to guard it jealously. Do not give your ATM to anybody, anybody to make transactions for you. And while you are using the ATM, be very vigilant because people are there, not necessarily to do transactions, some are there to steal your information. And you should be wary of people that are around you when you are doing your transaction on the ATM. Also, for people who are traveling, especially those who are going to rural areas where there are no bank branches or bank ATM where you need to do your transaction, what we do most frequently now is to use the POS point of sale. And in recent time, we have witnessed an upsurge in the number of persons that are duped to the, to the POS. So if you need to use POS in remote areas, be careful because some of the operators have also embraced acts of criminality. They have a way of harvesting your data and they can use it to defraud you. So if you need to use it an a POS machine, and probably they bring out one, it didn't work, they bring out a second, it didn't work, they bring out a third, it didn't work, that should ring an alarm in your, in your brain that probably somebody is trying to compromise your, your, your card. So you should be very much watchful and vigilant in all you do during this period. For people who want to uh, do transaction, I've, I've already talked about circumspection. I know that during this period, you usually have a lot of promo going on, and then you have uh, people who also advertise lottery and all that. Those are avenues, some, sometimes avenues through which people are defrauded. So if you see propositions that are very, very attractive and look too good to be true, that should also keep you on your guard that, look, you have to check very well before you, you embrace such uh, uh, financial offers because it could be having a true which you could be defrauded. But if you are fortunate to have lost uh, money through any of these transactions or you, you suspect that you are likely going to fall into the wrong hand, the first thing you should do is to contact your bank. If you have not really lost money, the first thing you do is to contact your bank so that they can block your account for people from, so that fraudsters will not get access to your money. But if you already have lost money, you, apart from contacting your bank, you can also complain to the EFCC. But for people who want to uh, do transactions, I've, I've already talked about circumspection. I know that during this period, you usually have a lot of promo going on. And then you have uh, people who also advertise lottery and all that. Those are avenues, some, sometimes avenues through which people are defrauded. So if you see propositions that are very, very attractive and look too good to be true, that should also keep you on your guard that, look, you have to check very well before you, you embrace such uh, uh, financial offers because it could be avenues through which you could be defrauded. But if you are fortunate to have lost uh, money through any of these transactions, or you, you suspect that you are likely going to fall into the wrong hand, the first thing you should do is to contact your bank. If you have not really lost money, the first thing you do is to contact your bank so that they can block your account for people from, so, so that fraudsters will not get access to your money. But if you already have lost money, you, apart from contacting your bank, you can also complain to the EFCC. What we advise people to do most of the time is to send an email because we work with documentation. 
by the time you send an email, there's a desk officer that mines our e email address. And once that information comes, she will direct it to the appropriate quarters and action will be taken. The email address is info at efccnigeria.org. All our platforms, social media platform, has those addresses and those who are familiar with us know how to access those, those uh, information. Thank you very much, Wilson, for your contributions on The Eagle today. Yes, keeping your financial details safely tucked in your head will surely help. Your head is the safest place to hide things you do not want others getting to lay their hands on. Corruption is a kanka wamu wo, na kanka wamu wo. I say na kanka wamu wo, na kanka wamu. Corruption don't finish our country. Nigeria women rise up and come together. Oh, oh yeah. Every woman come out, we go fight corruption together. Oh, every woman fall out, we go kill corruption together. Oh, them they thief our money. Ah, send them more bodo ibo. Children they suffer every day. Better school in no day. Nigeria women come, oh. Women from every sector make we fight corruption. We won't kill our country. Them go collect money for light. Chop the money, light we no see. Good road and good health and come. We no see. I said na can ka warm, oh. Join the EFCC in its crusade to rid Nigeria of corruption. Niger. Now we all know. Now that's it on this edition of The Eagle. Same time, same station next week, The Eagle will be here again. Send us your email on theeagle at efccnigeria.org. The Eagle at efccnigeria.org. And on all our social media platforms, it's at official efcc. Now, if you have petitions, please send them to info at efccnigeria.org or a personal visit to any of our offices in the 14 zones across the country or the corporate headquarters in Jabi Abuja will also help. I remain yours sincerely, Martha H. wishing you a wonderful Christmas celebration. God bless you. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. See you again soon.